Hey guys, and uh, welcome to a new episode of uh, my Let's Play Terraria. Um, so yeah, so last time we let off, uh, you know, I'd gone out uh, a good ways and got a little bit of uh, supplies. Came back here, um, and as you can see, I'm still pretty low on life from last time. Um, while I was off camera, I just rearranged my uh, inventory slightly. Um, just to have a little bit of logic to what I put where. Um, I know a, a big problem later on in the game is your inventory getting, uh, getting pretty full. So, um, you know, I have a chest here. I haven't really put much in it yet because I have still have plenty of space. But later on, I'm going to be filling that chest up. And I'm actually going to put several chests down in this lower area. Um, so yeah, at any rate, um... I think actually my big mission right now is going to be to go out and try and find some sand because mushrooms, you know, are good and all, but uh, they only restore about one heart, uh, and that seems kind of like a waste to me. So it's finally dawn though, and uh, so. Hopefully we'll be able to get out here alright, and maybe even while we're on the way out here we'll be able to find some copper or some iron that we can use towards, uh, towards getting, um, some, uh, a better sword. Because after all, <laughs> this sword is, is pretty terrible, really. And I feel like if we get some better weapons and maybe even a piece of armor or two, that will definitely help out as far as, um... I think it'll help out a lot as far as just making it through the night. I mean, right now, um, fighting off zombies and... And, uh... Zombies and eyeballs is, is a bit overwhelming. This guy's coming here fast. So unfortunately there weren't any, um, uh, what's it called, any potions in, uh, in that, uh, urn that we just broke up. And sorry if I'm, uh, being a little bit slow right now, I'm, uh, <laughs> getting back into the swing of things. It's been a, been a long day. I've been really excited to play this game, um, you know, and may not have gotten a whole lot of sleep because I was too excited. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's actually a lot of people who were uh, in a similar setting to me. I think I saw on the forums that there's like uh, 5,000 people were playing Terraria, Terraria within 20 minutes of it being out, um, which I think is pretty impressive. Um, and it's it's kind of what I expected, though, because let's face it, Terraria looks like it's... I mean, it is a pretty awesome game, but it also looked like it was going to be an awesome game uh, from the start. So... I'm gonna go down in this little cave right here, just to see uh, what might be down here. I don't, I don't want to go too far down because, well, they've also been a, they're a lot less forgiving as far as uh, lighting goes. Get some stone. And I definitely need to. Uh, collect a bit more silver. I think once I get 50 silver, I'll be able to um, to get the uh, uh, the merchant to move in, actually. Which I think would be good, because we get that, uh, that one helmet that lets you actually see things. Well, we're out of torches, but at least we're at the at the bottom of the of the well. So I guess that's what would be the only um, cave I'm going to be exploring on this little trip just because, well, I'm out of torches. Um, you know, it's funny, every now and then I'm in a cave, and I know I've not been in, obviously, any of these caves before, um, because pretty much everywhere I've been in the game, you guys have seen me go, but they they always give me sort of a slightly familiar look, uh, feeling, uh, the way that, you know, it's like, they, they have similarities to what I've seen in the, uh, the other YouTube uh, let's plays, and so it makes me feel very nostalgic for for all of P-Bat's adventures. 
So I don't know uh, if, if all of you watched that, but his stuff was pretty good. So and I think if I get some of this out of the way, I should be able to, to jump up here. I should have planned a little bit better as far as uh, as as far as my escape plan uh, goes. Uh, the good news is though I have lots and lots of dirt, and that makes uh, for great uh, a great great escape route. So I'm going to close up this cave. As you can see, I'm being a little clumsy right now. Um, yeah, but hopefully we'll be able to find some some sand on the way out here. I really need some glass so I can make an alchemy station, um, some bottles, and some potions. Because uh, clearly the mushrooms are good and all, but they're just not going to cut it long term. And one thing I'm going to be trying to do is to uh, actually keep the the length of uh, keep track, sort of, of how long I've been playing, so that I can uh, so I can separate this up into episodes that are about 15 minutes long. Um, but actually, I haven't I haven't started my timer uh, for this episode, so I actually don't know how long I've been going on this one. I'm going to assume I've been going for like maybe five or ten minutes. So, I'm just going to give it a few more minutes and uh, then probably call it quits for this episode. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll find some sand before I have to do that. Uh, I would hope. And this looks like a little bit of silver um, poking out from the ground, which is uh, pretty exciting, really. Because, uh, well, it's, it's, it's nice to have a, a, a little taste of what's coming later on. Ooh, gold! Um, now this is kind of exciting. I seem to have uh, gotten a little lucky streak and got a, a little, a little tiny bit of gold. So well, I can't go too far into this cave, unfortunately, because I don't have any torches. Oh, I do have torches. I don't know where I got those, but um, well, I'm glad to have them. And torches do seem to, to go pretty quickly in this game. Um, wow, there are a lot of pots in here. And so I'm making good money. Alright. Let's see what's over uh, on this other, this other way. Oh boy. So there's blue slime. Alright, well. Huh. Well, this is just an interesting area in general. So this looks like it's definitely a very large cave uh, system with uh, a lot to explore. I have a feeling that I will be spending a lot of time in this uh, in this area in future matches. In future episodes, I'm sorry. Um, so, because I mean, look at this. I mean, this is this is gonna be hard to get out of, though. I uh, I have to admit, I really wish that I had like the uh, magic mirror and the um, what's the other thing called the grappling hook. The grappling hook would just be great right now, because as you can see, you know, getting up these places is.
Oh, well, that'll do. Um, and some plat- these platforms are just absolutely indispensable. Uh, yeah. And... Wow. Well, there seems to be just a huge abundance of treasure around here. So hopefully I can- ooh, I, um, I don't know what you have to use to get sunflowers up. But I am going to collect some of these in case I run into any corruption later on. Um, this is a large world, so I'm sure there is some corruption, and I'm sure also that it's spreading. I'm going to stop here real quick with this copper. Well, first I'm going to kill this, these slimes. These slimes are more annoying than anything else, really. They they don't do a whole lot of damage, but uh, they do they do their damage does add up over some time. So definitely, I would say that you gotta watch out for them. Well, especially if he's going to try to jump in here. I I hope he's not going to. Um, and it looks like they don't have, uh, that much control over it. Oh, boy. So. So that's not too good. Um. But that copper should be enough to maybe get, like, a copper sword or copper, uh, maybe copper pickaxe. Um, and this looks like there's some iron here, too. So, even though I haven't run into any sand yet, which I really, really would like to find some of, um, just getting some of some of these uh, ores is really critical right now. Um, and it's funny because I know that later on in the game these aren't going to matter at all. Um, you know, if you watch if you watch Pbat's videos, you watch him just run by um, you know huge veins of, of copper, and he doesn't care about it because it's well, it's it's crappy copper, you know. Um, uh, likewise, if you've ever played Minecraft, you know that early on you find some coal and you're really excited about it, but later on there's just coal everywhere and you, you never really need as much as there is. So, but for right now though, this is very important. Um, and anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a little risk and go try and find uh, some sand I'm going to ignore any ores I see in the ground because it's almost nighttime anyways. I just really want to find some sand before uh, the day ends. And I feel terrible just passing up that copper there, but uh, it's not going anywhere. Same with the iron. Um, I just really want to get some sand before before the day ends so I can make some glasses. Um, That was a good, uh, that was a well-timed jump by that, uh, slime. You saw, uh, you might have seen that he, he landed spot-on on the, um, on that little pedestal there I, I set up. Okay, um, right. Well, I'm gonna need to make a a little shelter really quickly because it's uh, it's getting dark and I have a good amount of money uh, on my character that I do not want to lose all at once so first things first obviously a <laughs> um, <laughs> Not the best shelter ever. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave it leave it here for now. I'll be back in uh, in just a little bit with another episode, um, and we're gonna go get some sand. So I for next episode, I, I hope you like sand. Um, until next time, guys. Uh, take care and have a good one. Okay, thank you.